Hello, hello. Good afternoon, East Coasters. Good morning, West Coasters. How's it going? <laughs> All right, so I am going to just start. I don't even need anybody to jump on. Um, my name is Katie Martin, and I am a top artist ambassador with Mascara Beauty. I am in my 17th month with the company, and this is kind of important to me, and I'm not afraid to tell you this because it's something that I'm really proud of. Um, so I have 252 teamies as of today, and it's my 17th month, and to date I have sold 96,830, I'm sorry, $96,834 with the company in 17 months. So this is something that I am super proud of. I have no problem like saying it because I want you guys out there to understand that all of this is possible um, and more. People that are can go even further than I have gone in this business. And I did this working this business part-time, okay? So I am a professional photographer, for if you don't know me already, and I spent 10 years building a business, a brick and mortar business that um, I am now starting to loosen my grip on and because I know just the power of the opportunity that is sitting right in our laps here with Mascara Beauty, we have this ability to earn an unlimited amount of income if we're just consistent. And so what I want to talk to you today about, um, you know, I, I kind of thought long and hard, Sarah and I had some chats about like what I was going to talk about. And I know that, you know, high sales and a high sales um, number within a, within a specific sale, my, my single sale is a high number. Um, I could tell you all of these things about, you know, um, all of the steps that I take in terms of how I conduct a sales call. Um, and, and the more that I dug into this, the more I realized I needed to tell you something more, something far more critical than some tip or trick. Um, so I hope that you guys have a pen and paper ready because I'm going to give you a lot of information and it's going to be super valuable to you. And it's going to be some things that might be hard to hear. Okay. So basically Sarah asked me to come on here and talk about selling. And I could tell you, like I said, all of the steps that I take, um, but really none of that matters. And I know that before you get all bummed out and be like, man, I thought she was going to share all her trade secrets with me. I am going to share the number one trade secret that I have. I'm going to share it with you. Um, so I could tell you that, you know, inside of a sales appointment, I first ask questions and that's the most important thing to do when you have somebody in front of you. Um, you listen to them so that you don't confuse them later. Um, what you, you ask, what is your routine? What attracted you to mascara beauty in the first place? How do you want to look? And the most important question that you could ask is how do you want to be seen? How do you want to be seen? And that's a deep question. And the fact that you have power in that situation to help somebody figure out how she wants to be seen is huge. Okay. So this discovery process definitely helps you to understand where she's at with her routine so that you don't confuse her later and try to give, you know, outfit her with a large double decker filled with makeup that she's never going to understand how to use. A confused mind says no. So that discovery process is important, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I could also tell you that at the end of a sale, I break up their sale into three bite-sized pieces. I give them a skincare total, a tools total, and a makeup total, and I feed them those little bite-sized pieces at the conclusion of the sale. And then I wait eagerly and without fear when I say, and your total is now $450, I wait without fear for their answer. I, and I have trained myself to do that through practicing these techniques that I'm going to talk to you about today. So, but again, none of that matters without what I'm going to, about to talk to you about. I could also tell you the, that the power of your before and after that you're going to send them goes far beyond that moment when you're sitting there with them, you know, giving them that talk, you know, giving them their total and saying, here's your before and after. I hope you have an awesome, have an awesome day that the power of that before and after goes far beyond that. She could text it to a girlfriend. She could show her husband. She could show another friend. She should, even if she doesn't buy makeup, she could decide to take it home with her and think about it and then call you, you know, after she flounders with her own makeup a few, another week or so, she's going to come back to you. So you always leave them with that. And those are all great tips and tricks tips and tricks, but honestly, there is no tip or trick to this. 
because what I'm about to tell you is gonna blow you away because it blew me away. And this is an adaptation of a talk. I have to be very candid with you when I say we all have mentors, okay? And my mentor is a woman by the name of Sue Bryce. She is a uh, portrait photographer, a world-renowned portrait photographer, a Canon Explorer of Light, and I have learned a tremendous amount from her in terms of how to value yourself enough so that when you are sitting in front of somebody and you have to sell them something, you have have no problem doing it. You have no fear of doing it. You have no block in accepting money for in exchange for your time. Okay. So this talk that I'm about to give you is an adaptation. I took my notes from seeing her talk and I adapted it for mascara. So I just want to be very candid and say that this is not some, you know, organic original idea of mine. It is absolutely, I have to give credit to my mentors the same way anyone else would. So what I'm saying is there is no tip or trick to this. Selling is an energy, and what that energy means is that it is what you value, okay? This energy starts and ends with you, okay? So let's just kind of peel back the layers of what the heck does she even mean about selling is an energy? What is this like woo-woo thing, okay? You have to value everything enough that you will literally have people lined up outside your door, not even waiting to be able to try what you have to offer. Okay, so first of all, let's just lay to rest some myths, okay? The introvert extrovert myth. Well, I'm just so introverted and Katie, you're such an extrovert. Or all these other myths or lies or things that we tell us. What that is, is fear bottled up into some idea that you're not enough, they're gonna hate me, I'm not good enough, I'm not an expert makeup artist, I don't have a big following, I'm never gonna be any good at this business, okay? So let's just take one of them. Let's take the introvert extrovert thing, okay? Introverts, by their very definition, are people that cannot draw energy from a crowd, that it, it, it's overwhelming to them. And extro extroverts are the opposite. But it doesn't mean anything whenever you are doing makeup one-to-one -one with someone. Basically, an extrovert at a party is gonna be flipping around all over the place, you know, probably too drunk, and you, as the introvert, are gonna be having a very meaningful conversation in the corner of the room, making a real connection with somebody. And so that's what selling is, and you are, again, just tricking yourself, you're lying to yourself into thinking that there is something about you that's not good enough to do this. And meanwhile, you know, Amanda Ernest says it all the time, our inexperience is our superpower. And until you start to understand that and harness that, you you will go so much further with that than to try to, you know, pretend to be an expert. I mean, there is a certain level of fake it till you make it in terms of just the confidence that you bring to the picture, but your inexperience is your superpower and it's okay to admit that. Okay, so, um, the introvert extrovert thing, it just kind of leads into that idea that you have to do the personal work here, okay? Selling is, is whatever it is today for you, it like whatever kind of client that you have right here today and right now, okay? So you have a client that says, well, gee whiz, I really need to, I really like the makeup, but I need to wait until my tax return comes in. Who's heard that? Or I need to wait until my next paycheck or I need to um, make sure that it's okay with my husband, I'll call you back, okay? So what, what client you have right now is perfect for you because she's teaching you about how you're doing your business, okay? She's saying, I don't value this enough to give you my money right now because you do not value it enough to make sure that I cannot live without it. Do you see what I'm saying? So. The good news is in that is you are whatever you are today and not any, you're not this forever. You're just her today and that's okay. And so if you're willing to do the personal work to get yourself beyond these fears and to really understand the value of these products, the value of your time, the value of your life, then you will be able to literally create the business of your dreams, okay? All right, who's with me? Somebody give me a heart or a comment or something, <laughs> okay? So the fear, guys, it's real. I am not underscoring that at all. Selling is an energy that we bring, and what it means is it takes practice. And practicing, this is a big one, you guys. Okay, so practicing, this is a really, really crazy thing that I'm about to tell you. You're gonna write this in all shouty caps. Get your pen out, ready? 
managing disappointment, okay? We practice managing disappointment so that it does not have power over us, okay? Because believe me, there's going to be some, okay? So Sue Bryce had this great example. She was like, you know, some of us might have this disappointment where we, we do this rock star sales call and they leave buying nothing. Or worse, they leave, they feel terrible, and they go tell someone that she, you botched her makeup, <laughs> right? How bad would that be? And your world has now come to an end. You're going to be like under the covers for three weeks watching like every back season of Grey's Anatomy, eating pizzas, ordering Chinese, never seeing the light of day, right? Exactly. Marry the process, divorce the result. Until you can learn how to manage disappointment in your life. Like I used to be that person. Whenever something would come at me and I would get like, you know, some negative feedback or something like that, my world came to an end. And you have to get to the point where it might go three weeks in the bed to, to a week in the bed to at this point now, I'm at the point where I can take a deep breath and say, I need a coffee. <laughs> so that is where you need to practice getting. And it's it's a hard thing to do that whenever you um, whenever you are just crippled with your own fear. And so let's it's what 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 Sue Bryce actually kind of defines and quantifies that as it is, it is disempowering you. You are disempowering yourself. So you are, you are losing that energy that you need so much to be able to carry through your sales call and onto the next thing and just keep it on, you know, grinding. Because the grind is a beautiful thing. The hustle and grind is a beautiful thing. But you have to have power in doing it. And when when these things happen to you and your disappointment totally comes you to comes to a screeching halt, and then you're like, I need to give up. I'm gonna sell my kit. There's no point in even doing this. I'm a complete failure. You have to understand that this is just fear and a lie disempowering you. So you are the one allowing that. Um, therefore, what's going to happen is everything will be overpowering you. And so instead of, you know, you're not going to be able to say, I'm going to roll over and play dead and then get a $500 sale. You cannot come out, it, come out of it and say, well, gee whiz, you know, I just started this makeup company and, you know, you can't make eye contact with her because that would be too scary. And, you know, it would be kind of cool, you know, if you could come over maybe if you have time. I mean, you know, it's pretty good makeup. And like, you know, what kind of energy am I putting out there? Right? Like if I'm apologizing to her for wanting to share something amazing, like that's the wrong energy, you guys. You need to be like, holy cow, my face is crazy awesome. <laughs> like, look at my face. It's so good. You know, and you need to be able to walk up to someone new and say, hi, my name is Katie Martin. I am a portrait photographer now turned mascara makeup artist. It totally cr is the craziest thing of all time that this thing got its claws in me and it's not let go. And I have been literally sitting on the most amazing business opportunity. It was the most amazing accidental yes I've ever had in my entire life. And I am on this speeding bullet train to this crazy path of success. And I've got all these women with me doing it. It is the craziest, most incredible thing that has ever happened to me. And I would love nothing more than for you to come over to my house. I'll put the makeup on your face. There's no pressure whatsoever. And you can decide for yourself whether you like it too. Does that sound like something you'd like to do? There's no charge to do it. You can come over anytime you want. I'm home from nine to five every single day. I have three children. This, this thing allows me to balance my life, my kids. I can do my business in the car line. It is literally a gift sent from the mascara gods, right? That's what this is, okay? So until you value it enough and then say, my time and my life is so valuable that I'm willing to give you a piece of it so that you can come over and try it, right? Like, think about it this way. What is your product worth to you, okay? You gotta sit down and get real, real about that, okay? How much do you love this stuff? Really? How much do you love it? Has it changed you? Has it changed your life and the way that you start your day every day? Does it change the way you feel when you walk out the door? Does it change the way you, you see yourself when you catch yourself in the mirror? Does it see your, does it see, does it mean so much to you that the way your kids look at you is, wow, mommy's, something's different, right? 
Okay, so if you value that, then how much do you value your time? Are you a busy girl? I am. How much do you value your time? How much do you value the fact that our life is coming at us like a speeding train, whether we like it or not, okay? And every single year, you know, I always have that th feeling, every time I tuck my kids into, into bed at night, I think this is these days are numbered, right? Our life is just coming at us. So how much value do you have on that, that you're not willing to waste another second doing something that doesn't serve you or something that doesn't make you happy? How much is your life worth to you, okay? And then how much is your children's lives worth? It's a big deal. So now that you really understand value, how can you share this with someone else? Because being inside, in, in the presence of somebody else, you cannot be afraid to get paid for that. You can, your ability to sustain your life relies on your ability to value yourself, this product, and their time too, okay? So think about this. We talk about our why all the time. And I think that sometimes just asking somebody blankly, what is your why, they're like, what? <laughs> I don't even know where to start answering that question. How about we start with this question? Why did you fall in love with this makeup? Why did you fall in love with it? What made you want to sign up as an artist? Start there. Start there. What did you see in this product and in this opportunity that attracted you in the first place? Okay? Because that's the thing that's going to carry you through these dark times. But I guarantee you that you did not sign up to be a makeup artist or a business owner. You signed up to be a creator to be a creator, and you are creating a new life, a new way for yourself and the people that you bring along the way. I know that. I know that. I know that every single time that I get on the phone with a new prospect, I am sitting here saying, I have the chance to change this girl's life. It's, it's a real thing. All these girls in Canada, they don't know what's gonna hit them, for real but you have to be brave enough to open your little mouth and tell them, okay? So you signed up to be a creator. You signed up to, be, to create a new way of life for yourself and the people who join you and even the people that just try this makeup, right? That's a new way of life. That's a new morning for them. That's a new way of getting up and feeling empowered and feeling beautiful, okay? You're changing their life whether you know it or not, okay? So whatever client that you have right now is the perfect one because they mirror the energy that and the worth that you feel. And that's the hard truth, guys. I'm really sorry to tell you that. So when you call your sponsor and you say, I'm doing everything and nothing's happening, you need to get real with you. Okay? Because... When you just, we can troubleshoot, oh, did you do a before and after? Oh, do you have a Facebook group? Is it public or private? Like we could just spin our wheels all day long, picking apart all these things that you did or didn't do and what the language was in your posts and how often are you posting? You will get drowned out and you will get caught in the weeds when the real work is here, okay? So if they don't want to pay you and they're waiting for their next paycheck or their tax refund, that is you and you need to hear it. Okay. I'm, I'm just like lost a billion friends, but that's okay. That's all right. I love you. This is love coming through. I hope you get that. All right. We connect with our customers. We educate them. We deliver and then we follow up with them. It's very simple. I'm going to say it again. You connect and this energy is infused in all of these phases of the sale, okay? We connect with our customers. We are compassionate and kind and energetic, and we cannot wait. Our mouth cannot operate fast enough to get out this amazing thing that we have to offer them. They need it, okay? Your brain and your mouth cannot get it out fast enough. It's so incredible, okay? We educate them. Well, this is why it's going to change your life. Here's how right? This was Kara's mission from the beginning. One to one. This isn't Sephora. This isn't let's just throw some things in a cart and send you on your way with no training whatsoever. 
so that you have a giant failure and now you got a bunch of makeup you can't use? Like that's a, that's a, that's terrible. And she didn't want that. And that's why we, she created this thing in the first place, this artist program, right? This is about one-to-one. -one. So we educate our customers. Then we deliver, we deliver. So whatever you say to them, if it's going to be 10 days, you tell them it's going to be 12. If it's going to be five days, you tell them it's going to be seven. Okay. If you're going to, if you tell them that it's going to take them two to three times to master the makeup, Make sure that it's two to three times and you hold their hand and you make sure that that's what it is. You under promise, over deliver every single time you have lifelong clients, you deliver and then you follow up. So you make sure that you call them and say, I know that you got your makeup. I, I cannot wait to see your pretty face. Please send me a selfie. I cannot wait. Okay. And you hold their hand through that process because you're loving them. And by loving them, you're loving yourself. You're loving your time. You're loving your children through this opportunity. And here's the thing. Oh, at the very end of this, you have every darn right to ask them for a referral, okay? If you've done all those other things, then you ask for the referral. I would love the, your referral. I've had such a ball with you. You are such an incredible client. I would love to meet more people like you and I know you have 100 friends just like you. Can I, can I, can I serve them too, okay? All right. So I'm, I'm wrapping it up, guys. I'm sorry. I don't even know what time it is. 22 minutes. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little exercise together. We are going to set an intention, and, and it's something that you might have to do once we're off the call, but I'm going to tell you what my intention is for you because at the end of this talk, Sue Bryce told me what her intention was for me. So I'm just going to repeat this to you because it's so important. My intention for you is that well, you will understand that you have, this is gonna make me cry, you have the power inside you already. Everything that you need, you don't need a ring light or an extra set of brushes or a mirror or a whatever. You have everything that you need already, okay? You have the power to create the life and the business that you desire, that you dream of, okay? Your wildest dreams, you have it now, okay? You have the power to overcome your fears and the blocks that you have around money and rejection and selling. And that is work that you have to do on you. We have an Audible account. It is free to use. You create pockets of time. Where are my things? Here. I have these things in my back pocket all day long. I put them in my ears whenever I have 15 minutes to fold laundry or cook dinner or whatever it is. I pop them in my ears. I go to the Audible account and I do work on myself. Okay, that helps me manage disappointment. It helps me to understand where my blocks are, my fears, because I've got them, plenty of them. Okay, so you have the power to overcome your fears. You have, I need you to understand this. You have the power to create and change people's lives with this makeup, this business, and this opportunity, and I need you to get it. I need you to understand the power that is in that. No more being unempowered. You have all the power, okay? I see my daughter watching me with this business and I hear her say that she wants to work for me when she grows up and I am so quick to tell her, no, darling, you work for you. You work for you, okay? And that is the power that we have at our feet here, guys. We are look, these kids are looking at us, doing this business, doing it on our own, doing it together. And they say, I want to do like you do, mommy. Right? How amazing is that? She doesn't have to work for me. She works for herself. If that's not power, I don't know what is. Okay? So it's power so great that people can't stop thanking you for what you have given to them. That's our customers, our teamies, our upline, our downline, our sideline, the friendships that we offer one another, okay? You have to believe with all your heart that you are worth it. And I know you are, okay? But you have to believe that. And here's the thing, and this is my promise to you, and I mean every word that I'm about to say. If at any time you lose your way and you forget, I want you to call me up and I will remind you. And I know that anybody in this company would do the same for me, okay? <laughs> you have to honor the sale, honor that time with that person, 
because they're honoring you with their money. That's their hard-earned money. And you have to understand that honor has been in that process throughout it. I am giving you something valuable. You're giving me something valuable. You're giving me your hard-earned money and I'm giving you something that's gonna change you for the better, okay? So if you can understand that that is selling, selling is an energy. It is an honor to serve you. It is an honor to be with you. And you're honoring me with your money, okay? When you get that, you will be successful. And you could be successful today doing it, okay? The, the, the clients you have today are mirroring you, but that's the beauty of it. You're only that girl today, okay? So I believe in you. You go do it, you go show me that you can do it, and you call me up and tell me, Katie, I did it, okay? All right, that's my talk. <laughs> I love all of you, thanks for joining, goodbye.